Well, hello! I'd like to talk about integrating Calabra Online for feature-rich collaboration. Getting all of that goodness uh, from Calabra Online, built on this amazing LibreOffice technology, um, known and loved by many people, and turning it into rich, secure, you know, interoperable, beautiful, uh, collaborative uh, document editing. So we're doing really well. It's it, it, very encouraging. Um, million or million and a half Docker image downloads every month and people getting excited and integrating Calabra Online with lots of things. And the great thing is that we can then bring, you know, that control of your data, that digital sovereignty to everybody. Uh, our architecture is, I guess, it's bet on CPU threads and network getting cheaper. And we just love to work with people like AMD who are doing amazing work to, uh, you know, just make hardware much more powerful, uh, bring, bring those rich server uh, hardware with just a, a wealth of threads and compute that we can use uh, across your network to give you just uh, beautiful slick editing. Lots of lovely features, uh, hopefully you're uh, familiar with those. Uh, easy collaboration, just, uh, you know, compound uh, beauty. Uh, we continue to work to improve the design, but lots of uh, lovely things going in here. And a WYSIWYG experience. Uh, you're, you're, you're really seeing what you're going to get when you're printed out. You know, you're not sacrificing uh, anything for your web uh, usage there. Um, spreadsheets working very nicely. Uh, again, I uh, guess presentations and some more, more good stuff. And in terms of digital sovereignty, we really don't let your document data out of your, your, your site, as it were. Uh, so, you know, the document data is held in your server room and it's not sent to every device uh, to be controlled by some JavaScript enforcement policy. Uh, we're sending pixels to the clients and we can even watermark those to make sure that they really, um, you know, that they really are not going out uh, to anyone. You know, you can take a screenshot, but it's got your name all over it. Uh, so, yeah, just providing that granular control uh, management of your document data and keeping it uh, safe. And of course, we love to integrate with people. Uh, we're really thrilled to, uh, to see that. So, so Moodle, for example, uh, great to just be able to uh, share your classroom editing you know, in these locked down times, uh, your documents and allow uh, other people to edit those with you uh, collaboratively or you know, just, just setting um, you know, classroom uh, assignments and so on. Um, Alfresco, some beautiful integrations there. Uh, thanks to, to Jackie who, who are doing that now. Um, eGroupware, uh, some, some great stuff there. Colab. Uh, Nextcloud, very familiar to lots of people, and of course OwnCloud as well, uh, similarly. Uh, Mattermost for your chat uh, needs if it's not integrated in one of these other things. Uh, SharePoint, you know, we can show publisher files and Visio files, you know, inside your, your SharePoint, which is kind of cool. Uh, Nuxio, um, and if your integration isn't there, you know, it's now even easier to make your own. So in the last uh, couple of months, I think, uh, we've published uh, just a much extended SDK, uh, with great documentation, uh, sample codes in all sorts of languages. So we have, uh, I think, Python, we have PHP, we have Node.js, uh, all, all sorts of uh, different pieces of code that you can um, reuse to create a, a very quick integration. And it's really easy. Uh, it, do just check that out. Everything you need is there. Code is easy to get, uh, easy to install. So you just download it. There are lots of ways to do that through Univention. Uh, App Center, for example, or code Docker images uh, from Docker Hub, lots of packages. You can build your own source code, of course, and that's easy and just uh, install and, and play with that. And we provide essentially a, a stateless drop-in microservice. It's a pretty powerful and big microservice, um, but the good news is that it's not complicated. You know, we, we save, say, this Moodle example here, you know, we save all the document data back to uh, the back end, that integration, and uh, we rely on authentication coming from that back end too. So uh, really, we're not storing your documents. We're not uh, doing complicated authentication stuff. There's this very simple uh, WAPI-like API that allows us to plug into all those integrations and maybe yours too, and uh, makes it trivial to install and, and scale this thing, um, which, is, which is kind of cool. Of course, we were working very hard on features and uh, improvements. So, so what have we been doing in the last year or so? Well, the first thing we've done is uh, really just um, provide you with options. So there are some people who love a more, say, Google-like traditional menu and toolbar uh, thing that you can see at the bottom, and that's, that's been absolutely great. Uh, but if you pull the latest version, you then have a choice. Uh, you can use a notebook bar here, which is perhaps more familiar to Microsoft uh, Office users. And with these palettes, uh, tabbed palettes then, a uh, notebook bar of, of, of features, uh, with, with previews there of things like styles, you know, the extra space allows you then to do uh, do some of that uh, previewing thing, and cool. Uh, we have PDF search, uh, collaboration, um, so you can 
uh, annotate your PDFs and collaborate around them, search inside them as you render them there, the secure view. Um, lots of business interoperability work. Here's one from uh, for Taiwanese uh, customers uh, that want to have these gutter margins, you know, for binding your printouts uh, and, and making sure there's enough uh, space there and doing that in a nice interoperable way. Um, so we've been working on font work. So, you know, people like these uh, complicated and, and funky looking uh, different ways of rendering text uh, graphically. Uh, for impact, we've uh, done a whole lot of work on freeze panes, so making calc just much easier to navigate, um, much much simpler to see your yeah, your data and what column is what. Uh, macros. Uh, before anyone panics too hard, this of course is off by default. Uh, the administrator can turn it on, and then the user can decide uh, whether they are going to run those macros or not. And those happen inside this very secure jail environment that we have. But beyond that, you can then run your VBA macros and start to bring some of those little um, business process tools that have been written um, directly into the cloud and, and provide those then in a way that doesn't require you know, a specific version of Microsoft Office, a specific you know, database thingy or, or whatever. You can provide those then very easily on lots of devices uh, inside the browser and you can have you know, formulae or your complex Greeks uh, can, can all be working inside your financial spreadsheet, uh, which is great. Um, better sheet movement. Uh, pivot tables, uh, creating and customizing those. And this is a, an example of the, the new way we're doing dialogue. So bring them all to the client side and then constructing those out of JSON. So uh, the, the, not using, uh, I guess, uh, LibreOffice widgets anymore, but uh, doing all that in a themable CSS way uh, on the client, which is kind of uh, exciting new, new approach. Uh, defining names, uh, managing those. And actually we're starting to bring that approach of new dialogues to the sidebar too, so which will accelerate and make that crisper. A whole wealth of statistical tools for data analysis if you're, if you're into stats and your data and, and sharing that and, and seeing what's going on. So we can do some really uh, good things there. And we've also brought Draw. There are quite a lot of our educational customers wanted uh, to be able to draw uh, posters and you know, just learn to do that communication the communication skill that's so valuable there. So uh, being able to edit uh, you know, shapes and connectors and flow charts and uh, technical drawings, uh, bringing the font work in, and you can see that on a mobile device there as well. Um, what else? Oh, well, mobile simplifying comments uh, so that we can, you know, we have, have lists of those instead of a, a sort of uh, floating them on the side of the document, we can have them uh, in this uh, pane at the bottom. And of course, there's loads of stuff that you can see, but you, can, you, know, you can't see, but you can feel. Uh, so significantly faster rendering time in, in various, various cases, much faster rendering, but in many cases, just faster tile rendering uh, left and right, uh, better interactive cell editing, uh, more rapid jail setups, so quicker document load, uh, better watermarking if you're turning, turning that on for secure view, um, better slide content prefetching for rapidly moving through presentations, uh, better on-demand thumbnailing for very large presentations with hundreds and hundreds of slides, so that uh, you know, we just do that much more intelligently. Um, improved PDF rendering, thumbnailing, download speeds, a big, big improvements to downloading and, and copy in large paste uh, performance. Much better crispness. So, so doing a whole lot of work to better align pixel grids on the, on the client inside the canvas uh, with the server and uh, just Im improving the, the smarts around rendering that, doing much more rendering on the client side. So your calc grid should be drawn on the client and not on the server. Um, and then all of your clever merging bits can be uh, handled. Uh, and yeah, just getting rid of some of these somewhat unnecessary anti-aliasing blur. So rendering more and more in the HTML canvas itself, rather than having SVG layers on top of uh, CSS images, which, which has allowed a number of uh, great optimizations. Um, we're moving to TypeScript, uh, so just uh, much better type checking underneath, much more maintainable code, a better quality there. Uh, Cypress automated test coverage. I, I forget 100 Cypress test uh, suites there doing, doing things behind the scenes to make sure that uh, we're not regressing. And all of that, of course, connected with continuous integration, so all of the commits are tested with, with much more detail as they go in now. Uh, cluster debugging. So sometimes people... So it's very important when you set up your cluster to make sure that everybody going to one document ends up in the same process space on the other end. So we've been doing a lot of work to make it easier to check when that's, that's happening and debug that. Just cook. So, so as you as a sysadmin don't deploy it and think it works nicely and then realize that actually you are, you are fooling yourself. So uh, just be better ways to, to check those server IDs. 
And yeah, much more. I, I can't tell you three and a half thousand uh, commits uh, in online in the last year, just innumerable bug fixes and improvements. And of course, bringing that to, you know, bring your own device. So, uh, you know, using the online responsive UI natively for apps so you can be disconnected from the internet and still have all of that rich, uh, one-handed touch user interface. Um, improvements then on iOS uh, to, to make this nicer. Uh, bringing that same Android app then to Chromebooks and actually you know, providing this whole rich user experience then inside Chrome OS uh, for, for often used in education for students and, and other people there and providing that, you know, just that full uh, PC uh, experience on Chrome OS. It's, it's great to see that there. So what's coming next? Well, glad you asked. Uh, and really looking forward to seeing people in person too, I must say, um, when the uh, world changes. Uh, but really improving performance. There's a lot of profiling going on at the moment. Uh, we're having end-to-end -end profiling built in. So in a single graph, you can see what's happening in your browser and you can see what's happening in the, your server daemon and then what's happening in your specific LibreOffice kit document uh, backend. And then joining all those together into single profile so that we can work out where the bottlenecks are. And uh, when we started to do this, we discovered amazingly that the browser was one of our blind spots. Lots of silly stuff happening in the browser. So we've really been accelerating the rendering there, which turned out in many cases to be the bottleneck. So uh, yeah, lots of, uh, lots of good, good things there. And uh, of course, speed ups in, in the core to uh, dropping some off, off screen idle painting in, into buffers that are never used. We're also improving the design and just uh, putting more effort into that. Pedro working a hard time, yeah, full time now with the uh, community, just polishing the UX, uh, finding and tweaking and cleaning uh, lots of those small things. And uh, I mentioned the sidebar widgets, making that just much better so that we should have a consistent, beautiful uh, user experience uh, for our next major release in, in 2021. And of course, pulling in the latest LibreOffice technology under the hood to uh, get that uh, so much better. So it's fun to get involved. Uh, you can get involved in two ways, either with LibreOffice. Uh, you can go there, grab the core code, get involved in that. There's, there's loads of cool things to do at LibreOffice, and we love it. Um, or you can get involved in Collabora Online uh, on GitHub here. Uh, we have loads of similar easy hacks. Uh, and we're more of a JavaScript, C++, CSS, designy uh, place. And uh, we'd love to have you involved there. Uh, or you can translate in WebLate. Uh, we have a forum. Uh, we have weekly public uh, development meetings. Please do show up Thursday. Uh, tell us what you like, uh, where you'd like to get involved. Um, and you know, our mission really is, as Collabora is to make open source rock. Uh, we like to be focused on Office. Uh, and we're doing, we're doing lots of great work with your help. So thank you. Thank you for listening. I think that's all the time I have. And, and as I say, really looking forward to seeing people in person when we can again. All the best.